man, Friday evening. We've got about five or days, five days or so left before this lunar fork vote comes to an end. And again, we've had some changes made after going for vote. There have been changes made to the proposal. You guys need to stay up to date with this. If you have any lunar, if you have any UST, or just if you're interested in knowing how the dynamics of these things work, because tomorrow, you know, we hope not, but your specific altcoins which you're invested in could be going through these things. Let's take a look at the tweet from Agora and from Terra Luna to find out exactly what are they saying. So we have published an amendment to Proposal 1623 incorporating the community's feedback since its publication two days ago. Please see below for details. There are three new revisions in the amendment, okay? So the first one, increasing Genesis liquidity. So the important that we follow this. So look at the third one here. So for pre-attack AUST holders, post-attack Luna holders, and post-attack UST holders, the initial liquidity parameters have been modified from 50 15 to 30 percent to increase token supply at launch and mitigate future inflationary pressures. So again, they're pr they're printing more lunar tokens. Okay, this is inflationary to increase the liquidity here at launch. Number two, introducing a new liquidity profile for pre A attack pre attack lunar holders. So wallets now with less than 10k lunar will have the same Genesis liquidity. Genesis meaning when the new fork is done, which by the way, they're hoping to rush through quite quickly, right? They want to do this by the 27th of this month, which doesn't leave much time. So anyone, any wallets with less than 10k, which by the way is a lot of people, right? The majority of people are not whales. The majority of people are lay people who invested a little bit of their life savings into Luna and now they're feeling the pain. So they will have liquidity at Genesis, okay? So i.e. 30% unlocked at launch and have the remaining 70% vested over two years with a six-month cliff. Remember, this is now for pre-attack. This is good. This is what we were complaining about, that they were taking the mick out of the pre-attack ones because all the pre-attack holders had to wait uh, for a cliff and then vesting, okay? So they still have to wait uh, with a six-month cliff for the remaining 70%. At least they get something at Genesis, which is the initial 30%. So that's a better uh, improvement there. Next up, introducing this new liquidity profile ensures that small Luna holders have similar initial liquidity profiles. This would cover 99.81% of Luna wallets while only representing 6.45% of the total Luna at the pre-attack snapshot. Yep, so again, we know that the majority of people, to help the majority of average people who had some Luna, i.e. 99.8% of people, of wallets, who had Luna... It's only going to reflect 6.45% of the supply. So we already know that, right? The smallest few percent of wallet holders hold more than 90% of the supply of Luna. This was a very concentrated token by the whales. Number three, dec decreasing distribution to post-attack UST holders. So this is, again, very important. The allocation for post-attack UST holders, these are people who bought UST after the depegging event, has decreased from 20% to 15% to ensure the depeg-related allocation is on par with the original stakeholder, i.e. the pre-attack lunar allocation. Okay, this is more fair, guys, right? Now you're leveling it up to say anybody who bought UST after is going to get the same allocation as the ones bought pre-lunar. In fact, I'd even argue the pre-attack should get even more. Those were the ones who believed in the ecosystem, them, those ones who were invested, the others were looking for quick arbitrage and trading, right? They knew what they were getting into, a very volatile asset. Those who were uh, investing beforehand, particularly in UST, did not know or expect to be in a volatile asset. The residual 5% change from decreasing the distribution to post-attack UST holders will be allocated to the community pool. Okay, so that's going into the community pool for the rest of the token ecosystem. So voting on this ends in five days. Please review the amendments. Okay, so that is the update. Now let's go across to Terra Station to look at a live update of the vote. And currently we've just got under 80%. That's 147 million votes going to yes. 2.5 are abstaining, 17.5% with the no with veto. Remember, the past, fre the past threshold is 50%, as you can see at the bottom there, and the veto threshold is 33 Point four doesn't look like this is going to get vetoed. It looks like this is going to go ahead. Still another five days. Still very big projects yet to vote with huge voting power. Orion Money, Smart Stake, Hashed. I mean, Orion Money have 9% of the voting power, so they can sway depending on where they choose to vote. And again, a lot of the other big players are yet to vote. So really interesting. Really interesting to see how this plays out over time. I think, look, a lot of people like me who had a, a sensible allocation in Luna and weren't hurt too badly, they're just holding on to the Luna because there's no point selling it, right? Maybe you get a bit of an airdrop and fine, you could benefit from it. We're not expecting anything. There are some crazy people who are obviously buying Luna in the 
after the attack and also going to buy it after the vote in the lead up to Genesis. So there's a lot of ways people will play this and naturally traders are going to play this. But for you guys, if you're inexperienced in the market, stay away from this stuff. Now is not the time to focus on that. Go watch my other two videos from today. We're entering a crazy period in the market where you're getting really good plays at crazy cost entry prices. That's what we need to focus on right now is focus on the blue chip crypto companies, get into those, build out your portfolio. Don't get distracted by little stuff. You don't need to be distracted by DJ plays. You don't need to be distracted by you know low market cap projects. You don't need to be distracted by playing on Luna when there's many, many other good projects out there for you to dollar cost averaging and build out a sensible portfolio. That's all that's gonna matter. And if we're entering a multi-year bear market or a multi-month bear market, the best thing you can do now is accumulate, get as much cash as you can, build out your position in the smart portfolio projects and then wait for the next run up to the upside hope you guys enjoyed this lunar update as always don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe if you like my perspective check out the course member links below just uk forward slash member go watch the videos from earlier i'll link those up and i'll see you in the next one